In this video, I'm gonna show off the versatility of the Oklahoma Joe's Bronco Drum Smoker and we'll cover off a few of our favorite setups. All right, so we'll start with the smoking setup. So once you've opened the lid, you'll see your cooking grate. And then next you've got your heat deflector that stops your direct heat from hitting whatever you're cooking on your cooking grate. And then next you've got your charcoal basket. You can fit around five kilos of briquettes or charcoal in there. And we've done cooks up to about 14 hours just off of a single basket. And then below, you've got your ash pan. So any charcoal or briquettes that burn through will drop into the ash pan below. And then you can just empty out the ash pan at the end of the cook. So pretty straightforward. If you've seen our videos before, I'll fill up our charcoal basket with briquettes. We'll start it with a couple of fire lighters and we'll let our barbecue come up to temperature. I'll always leave my top vent on the lid wide open and I'll just control my temperature using this intake here. So for the start, while our barbecue is coming up to temperature, always stays open. And then to maintain that 250 Fahrenheit or 120 Celsius, for example, I'll usually have my vent set about there and that will not budge all day once you've got it dialed in. So we'll quickly put this back together. So it's just as easy as putting your heat deflector back in. and then you're cooking great. So let's say you're reverse searing a steak and you've just used that smoking setup. Let's go through how quick and easy it is to convert this from a smoking setup to a searing setup. All right, so to go from smoking to searing, we're gonna remove our cooking rack. We'll take our heat deflector out for a sec. Get our charcoal basket. <clears throat> and then we're gonna put our heat deflector back in upside down. As you can see, the brackets are angled, so it'll sit higher when you flip it upside down. And then you'd put your charcoal basket back in with a nice chimney worth of red hot ashed over briquettes. And then you'd put your cooking rack back in like so. Or if you did want to grill direct and have a bit more distance between what you're cooking and your fuel, then keep your heat deflector flipped up the other way and you won't be cooking at such an intense temperature. All right, and then our last setup for the video and what I think makes this smoker truly special is being able to hang stuff in the smoker. So let's get stuck into the setup and I'll show you how quick it is to swap over. Right, so what we're gonna do is take out our heat deflector. Now I'm gonna leave the heat deflector and our cooking rack off for this setup like I normally do. And then with the smoker, you'll get three of these brackets here and these just slot into the holes on the drum, you can put them in on whatever angle you sort of like. And then also with the drum, you'll get nine hooks. So you can hang up to nine racks of ribs. We've hung lamb shanks in this smoker before. You can hang a lamb leg. You can hang a split chook. You can bring your charcoal basket up by flipping your heat deflector and hang a pork belly direct over charcoal. There's so many options. Hanging stuff just creates a beautiful flavor with the rendered fat that drips onto the charcoal and just chars up and adds another level of flavor to what you're cooking. So tons and tons of space there. Imagine being able to hang nine racks of ribs, probably one of my favorite setups in the drum. So there you have it, everyone. There's a few different setups in the Oklahoma Joe's Bronco Drum Smoker. There's also the Bronco Pro out now, which is basically the big brother to this one. It's a bigger and better unit. It's got a massive charcoal basket and a much bigger cooking space as well. Definitely keep this smoker in mind if you are looking to upgrade your current smoker. But as for now, that's the end of the video. If you've got any questions, don't hesitate to ask them in the comments below and we'll see you next time.